just wanted to kind of show this and uh, give some tips and tricks as I've uh, printed a little bit now with ASA. I haven't printed too much big stuff, but if you're new to printing with ASA like I am, some of the things I've noticed are I've tried a couple different filaments, so uh, you might also have to do that if you're looking for a good experience. This one seems to be giving me a pretty good experience. I'm getting really nice, super clean prints. This is 0.12 of a layer height, that way I can get some really nice uh, threads there, but this is actually being used in a water application, um, and they requested the ASA. So a little bit of a brim there to still kind of peel off, but look at how easy that is. Real nice there. Um, so I also found it impressive how fast this thing is moving. Um, but one of the tricks is definitely the brim. The brim is not automatically turned on uh, when you just switch it to generic ASA, and sometimes it's not needed. I had a different filament that it didn't really need um, the brim, but I found the brim is helping here. Um, in some of the other cases, I wasn't able to do multiple prints at a time, so I'm just doing one print at a time right now so I can get uh, a little bit of them going, and I'm about to start trying now that I'm doing this big brim. I'm actually doing the brim inside and out, so um, that is helping, I think, a little bit further for it to have a brim inside here and on the outside, and I can just easily pop that out. Um, I actually should have waited till this one cooled so I can show you, but yeah, if you're printing with ASA, that's my first recommendation, make sure your build plate's clean, maybe, um, if you're also having issues, use some nanopolymer adhesive, um, I specifically like this glue, um, it is expensive, um, but I'm also told that it's pretty easy to make yourself if you want, um, that it's essentially, what is it like? alcohol and I think like that hairspray the same stuff that's in the hairspray or something like that whatever it is um, but yeah so you can either make it or uh, use it but I like you, you know I mean I bought this bottle for 80 bucks like two years ago and I still have more than 50% like 60% of it left so um, <laughs> and you can see I, I not only used it on these printers but I used it on my old printers before I switched to the bamboos and I used a lot more of it back then um, so you really don't need to use a lot of it on here I, I literally only use it when um, stuff starts not sticking and after you've cleaned it with alcohol but anyways guys I just wanted to kind of give you that kind of thought on the ASA and kind of show you how well the parts can come out on a bamboo so bamboo p1s asa filament that's what that looks like for a little fitting there um, really really pleased with the results just right out of the box generic asa um, and this specific brand of asa is elgo so this was some some uh, affordable asa uh, that you could buy so yeah and then if you're ever curious why i have boxes on top of my printers um, or why I leave them up there. I generally am doing that because of the amount of heat they leave off that if I can put something else up there or even rolls of filament especially um, you know that's kind of keeping them warm um, prepping them for so generally what I'll do is I'll put the next filaments I want to use up here that way they kind of get uh, a little bit more dehydrated and warmed from uh, from the, the, the top of the printer here especially when you're printing with bed temps at 90 and 100, it likes, uh, you know, it really makes that top screen pretty warm. But anyways, guys, that's bamboo printing, uh, bamboo P1S printing with ASA filament. Look at that. Um, so this little thing is in 30 minutes. So not too bad. Uh, they, uh, is that just lighting or did it? No, it did kind of give a little something right there. I wonder why I did that because I didn't do that on any of these other ones. I'm going to wait till it cools off because when it cools off, uh, the whole thing just like pops right off. If I take it off right now, it's actually a little stuck. Um, but look at that, like, oh, it removes so nice. I had real trouble with ASA printing before I got a bamboo, and now, now they print really well. So, anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe, all the cool things. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.